Today we're going to be analyzing the themes in the movie Get Out. So grab yourself a snack, get a drink, get comfy, because the only words you're going to have left are WHAT THE f So there's three main themes in Get Out. Racism, love and betrayal, and manipulation. Right off of the bat, you get race, racism, and then slavery. Three prominent themes in a row that tell you what this movie is going to be about. Uh, start off the movie with Chris and Rose talking. Um, and Chris is like, so like, does your family know I'm black? Right off the bat, the row and race into it. You have them driving to Rose's house next scene. And this white co cop pulls them over and is clearly racist towards Chris. Racism right off the bat. Then you get to the house and it's just the vibes are off 110 percent you have a groundskeeper who's african-american you have um a cook slash maid who's inside the house also african-american they just their eyes say like help or Get out! Yo! something's wrong clearly and then you have rose's dad say i know what you're thinking white like white family black servants but i would have voted for obama for a third time what like why is that applicable the main question that chris asks when he is in the basement in the underground layer whatever you want to call it is why well, yes huh white black people so this question is best answered in the part of the movie where his friend is going through missing people files. And I'll play a clip of that right now just so you can kind of understand better the explanation of why the producers of Get Out chose to put this message in the movie because it's really prolific and quite disturbing um and it shines a light on and in, in like a racial injustice that we see today that's Dre. Dre. andre hayworth used to kick him with veronica veronica from what Teresa's sister that work at the movie theater on eighth yeah that is him that is him but wait 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 wait, wait. this is so fucking fucking crazy yo he's different no shit why is he dressed like that it's not that it's everything I, he came to the party with a white woman like 30 years old now sex slave oh shit chris you gotta get the fuck up out of there man you in some high wire shit situation leave motherfucker no okay so i could not find the scene for the life of me but rod goes starts going searching with his like tsa powers and starts coming up against like all these missing persons reports and that's where this analysis comes from i was doing a little digging um and i actually found this statistic on this website and i was like that is so interesting so i did a little more research um and in the entire united states um of america there are 13.6 African-American U.S. citizens. And 38% of missing people are made up of minority. So that is 198,000 people. That's a lot of people who are missing. Get Out is just highlighting a flaw in society. The movie is a reflection of what is happening today. The second clear theme in this movie is love and betrayal. Beginning of the movie, Rose and Chris, they're there, they're in love, they're making out, they're having a grand old time, super cute together, we're rooting for them, we love them, we want it to work out. This is their downfall. Rose. I don't know where they are. Rose. Rose! Rose, give me your keys! Rose, give me your keys. Rose, now! Now, the keys! Oh, 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 be careful, bro. What the fuck? I didn't do anything. What the fuck is going on? Where are those keys, Rose? You know I can't give you the keys, right, babe? So this is analysis 
we're all about finding the deeper min meaning behind what this scene is saying. So I looked it up, Rose and Chris, they dated for five months. Scientifically, it takes six months to a year to fully understand someone's personality, right? Um, in general, you never really know somebody because they were basically at six months. Like basically they knew each other. You can totally pull in the idea of marriages into this. 46% of marriages report having an affair in them. That's like almost half of marriages. Just these people getting with other people. And like, I feel like marriage is like the ultimate commitment, right? Like you share a bank account, you share money. Sometimes you have kids. Sometimes you have a house together. Like to cheat, that's like, that's an expensive, that's an expensive whore. Cause it may cost you a divorce. So the third theme that you see in Get Out is manipulation. The main manipulation that you're seeing um, is psychological. Um, but first I wanna talk about sexual manipulation. Um, the bio major is coming out in me. <laughs> um, but when you have sex, it creates neurochemicals in your brain. And neurochemicals, um, stimulate feelings of trust, um, reward, happiness, um, which when you are sexually active with one individual, it also is going to boost, especially in men, attractiveness to that person. With Rose breaking Chris's trust, this can actually cause like neurological trauma Again, psychological manipulation, but it stem from sex. And psychological, of course, you can see it with Maggie, Rose's mom, um, using it to hallucinate, send Chris into, was it like the gray space? Is that what they called it? I cannot remember, but where she like, he like was like watching through his eyes, like step back and was like, watching everything but like couldn't talk didn't have control couldn't move um same idea so but she maggie used a psychological version of manipulation and she was purposefully exploiting him to use him for her own benefit which is what manipulation is um it's individuals exploiting another individual for their own benefit which both of these women um did in this movie and it's really unfortunate but this theme is executed amazingly because again manipulation is definitely something that can happen in a relationship it's definitely not maybe to that extent but it is a real life so it's really interesting how get out takes these themes puts it to an extreme version um labels it as a horror movie and yet we can see smaller, more minuscule versions of these themes in our everyday life. It happens and it's really sad that it happens, but Get Out does a great job at just making people aware that this is a 